Hi everyone, I am Ravi here. Today I am working on Honda Insight. Customer complaint is car is jerking when slow down the speed and when try to speed up or pick up again. For an example, when slow down the car in a traffic condition or similar condition and then try to pick it up, it is jerking for a while until get some speed. Few shops has tried to fix it, engine tune up has been done and spark plugs have been changed. As always, I am going to pre-scan the car and do a proper diagnosis. Anyway, this is my new scan tool, Think Tool Expert 391 for 2025. Perfect, I love it with its new features. Uh, I will bring you a review video later on this scan tool. So I have hooked up the VCI already and I love this auto win recognition feature on this new scan tool which I haven't with my early scan tools. Okay, car was recognized here, so easy. Uh, I would like to see the full health report first. Here you can see the entire network topology of the Honda. So I just tap on the smart scan here in order to get the health report of this car. Anyway, I have already diagnosed the issue on this car. So I just want to demonstrate it for you. Here you can see all the modules available in this car uh, indicate green, which means no any fault code in any system. So I would like to uh, go to the engine control module and look for the live data stream in order to chase the customer complaint. Because that might be a combustion related fault that cause for the jerk while uh, accelerating the car. So I would like to see the combustion related data on the live data stream here in the engine control module. So I just select several data pits including the fault trim data, uh, MAF sensor data and some other data here. Okay, here I have selected long term and short term fuel trims, MAF and MAP sensor data and the engine speed uh, and I need to observe those data more closely in order to see any changes or any abnormalities going on while engine is running. Okay, I just start the car here and you can see all the data pits in the graph mode because uh, we can observe it more easily with the gra graphical mode. Uh, so still we can't get a decision fuel trim data is in a good values like 0.98 and uh, it is stay over 0.95 which is perfect so but we have to wait uh, several minutes until it get to the operating temperature okay even after several minutes uh, car get into the operating temperature i can't see anything abnormal all the fuel trims going on very well and uh, around perfect value uh, it is almost close to the 1.0 which is uh, perfect uh, actually i can't see anything wrong here but uh, what i did during my uh, diagnosis process i was observing the data more closely and for longer period to uh, to see anything else going on anything else uh, go to the abnormal situation so what I found actually here, I will show you it is uh, here on the, this data stream. Uh, I was more closely looking for the MAF sensor data, mass airflow sensor data. So uh, what I observed that it goes a bit uh, lower abnormal value than uh, it's supposed to be. Because I have worked with a lot of Honda cars and I know these cars, especially this is a 1.3 liter engine. Uh, at the idle when it get to the operating temperature at the idle it shows around 1.6 to 1.7 gram per second around 1.56 to 1.7 gram per second when it is in a normal condition but what i observed here in this car this map sensor data hit below 1.6 sometimes it most of the time it was in the 1.5 here you can see at the moment it is hitting 1.5 gram per second and also it is going to lower than 1.5 it goes to the 1.4 gram also so this is not normal because i have as i told you earlier i have worked a lot of uh, these honda fit cars and honda inside so this is not a normal condition but still uh, fuel trim data stay around uh, good values perfect values so i'm a little bit suspecting about the mass air flow sensor here with this data because it should stay around 1.6 to 1.7 gram per second 
at the idle without any electrical load so but this one hit 1.5 and uh, rarely it goes to the uh, 1.4 gram per seconds also these honda cars are more sensitive for the mass airflow sensor data and uh, entire combustion process depend on the mass airflow sensor if the mass airflow sensor send wrong data combustion process will be wrong and uh, it make uh, drivability issues for the car so what i know uh, but in honda cars mass airflow sensor always bring more accurate data and but sometimes uh, it might be a faulty or a defected mass airflow sensor or otherwise any other condition could affect for the mass airflow sensor data like uh, for an example if we have a, a vacuum leak in this car so it could cause to the mass airflow sensor data so we have to determine uh, what is going on truly here so we need to do a, another test for that but still i am suspecting about the mass airflow sensor here because if it is a defective sensor that could cause for the jerk which is customer complain uh, during the driving even though we saw some abnormal data on the mass airflow sensor we should not change the mass airflow sensor right away uh, we have to prove our diagnosis uh, for that i am going to throw a smoke test in order to find any uh, vacuum leak going on this car because if any vacuum leak is uh, going on this car that could cause to the mass airflow sensor data getting lower like uh, which we are seeing here okay i have hooked up the smoke machine here and set up for the leak detection and here you can see i have blocked that uh, throttle body using an intake bladder because i don't need to leak all the smoke out from the system uh, otherwise it could avoid uh, to find the real leak detection okay just start the smoke machine and let it to pressurize the system with the smoke then uh, we can find uh, where the smoke comes comes out if it comes out uh, around the intake manifold or intake area so it could be a, a vacuum leak so uh, let's see okay i'm not going to waste your time as i have already diagnosed the issue i will show you that i found uh, smoke is coming out from the egr valve body so this egr is leak so it has a vacuum leak through the egr valve body so i will show you i try to focus the smoke uh, out from the egr hope you can see that smoke comes out from the egr here you can see yeah smoke is coming out so definitely this is a problem it could lead into a vacuum leak and uh, could lead the car into a such kind of jerk situation as customer complaints uh, especially when uh, speed up the car because when when in the low rpm there is a vacuum condition in the uh, intake manifold okay i'm going to prove my diagnosis in another way so i'm going to put um, this kind of plate between the egr and the intake valve body so then we can block the egr and we can stop the vacuum leak from the egr valve if it was the root cause that mean if this vacuum leak was the root cause for jerk as the customer complain we should not experience that jerk in condition uh, in our next test run so i'm going to block the egr and make a test run so as scanner data taught us don't be a part changer always proof the diagnosis and proof the fault so I believe his word and respect him. So let's block the EGR and make a test run and we'll see what is going on with the data and uh, test drive experience. Okay, we are on a test run after the EGR blocked. Uh, so customer told me that he has a worse scenario of that jerking condition when specially drive the car on a hill or on a slope uh, onward to the upside. So therefore we uh, got into a hill road here you you can see we are climbing a, a little hill here but what customer uh, confirmed right now there is no any jerk condition like it was earlier so uh, only we can feel some engine knocking here and knocking sound because of as we have already blocked the egr valve valve it could uh, lead the car into a knocking condition otherwise during our test run we didn't feel any uh, jerking condition as customer complained earlier especially when the accelerating or while the driving 
uh, we don't feel any jerk so we are done we found the root cause and we diagnosed properly what is the cause for this jerking uh, so this car need a new EGR valve okay today is the Sunday so most of the Japanese junkyard spare part seller are closed in this area so we have to wait until Monday but we have proved that this car need a EGR valve we can't find uh, actually new EGR valve for this car because even it even we found it it will be uh, so expensive so better we go for the junkyard uh, EGR valve from the Japanese reconditioned uh, vehicle so um, we did a proper diagnosis uh, first we found a clue by observing the data so always follow the data and do a data driven diagnostic and then do other diagnostic test until you prove your fault and prove your diagnosis so thank you very much for watching my youtube channel stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos